hello everyone welcome to my channel in the previous video <coughs> we have discussed how to interface a single seven segment led with an increment switch with stm32 target module which is stm32 f401 retx so in this video we will be discussing how to interface a dual seven segment display with an increment as well as a decrement switch that is we will be having two seven segment displays and two switches two switches uh, this will be representing the tens place and this will be representing the units place something like this so yeah uh, this is what we are going to design so algorithm is simple uh, read the status of the increment switch read the status of the decrement switch this must be decrement decrement switch if the status of the increment switch is changed increment the count if the status of decrement switch is changed decrement the count display the ones and tens plus digits separately on two seven segment displays so how to do this is for example if you have something like 22 if you are familiar with the uh, operators that uh, arithmetic operators if you want to uh, le le for simplicity let's make it as 42 so if you modulo divide 42 by 10 modulo division 10 this must be 10 modulo division 10 what you will get you will simply get 4 if you do 42 modulo division 10 directly you will get 2 so if you if you are given let's say 253 if you are dividing it by 10 and then doing modular division by 10 you will get the tens plus digit if you are simply modular div dividing by 10 you will get the units plus digit so this is the logic that we are going to use as discussed in the previous video these are the combinations of a b c d e f and g for different integer values to be printed on the seven segment display uh, there are two types of seven segment display one is common anode and common cathode but in mrhc practices mostly we prefer common cathode uh, so here also we are using a common cathode wherein the grounds of all the leds are uh, uh, given to a common ground and all the inputs of leds are given out from the seven segment so the steps of programming are simple as mentioned in the previous video first five won't change so is uh, enabling clock resetting gpus configuring gpus resetting pupdr configuring pupdr next three are application specific which will be which will be changing from uh, like application to application here we are initializing a variable named count with zero reading the idr value incrementing uh, the idr count value or decrementing the count value based on in increment or decrement switch and then uh, pushing it into the odr so the first thing is enabling clock if anyone have didn't visit my the uh, third video or in the video in which i have uh, discussed about the ahb bus and how it is split and why we are choosing only ahb1 enr the a link will be popping up now please click on it and uh, please watch the video so uh, we are using only gpio a for this purpose so we are enabling clock to only a and the next thing is configuring the motor register uh, so as i mentioned we will be using only pa port a so you will be using the motor register of port a and for resetting you have to keep the particular uh, bits of a pin as 00 for output mode it must be a 0 1 for input and reset it is always 0 0 so how to write data into a register as mentioned in the earlier videos we will be using and assign with negation logic to reset the particular uh, bit or assigned with logic to set the particular bit for resetting we need to reset the particular bit so we will be using and assign with negation logic for configuring we need to set the particular bits so we will be using or assigned with logic our objective is to configure pa.0 to pa.13 as outputs and pa.15 as input and also we need to configure pa.14 also as input 
because uh, we need two switches one is for incrementing and one is for decrementing so if you see here for resetting the motor register of port a pertaining to pa.0 to pa.6 and pa.8 this one is pa.13 and pa.15 and pa.14 so this is the thing we will be doing because uh, it is obvious because we are using almost all the ports like 0 to 13 and then 14 and 15 so we need to use this and after that configuring the motor register for port a.0 to 13 as outputs and pa.15 as input so for 14 and 15 as input you can leave them and from 0 to 13 we will be needing 28 uh, bits which will be representing 4 uh, uh, sorry 7 hexadecimal 7 hexadecimals which are 0, 1, 0, 1 contributing to 5 so you will be having 7 5s following by a leading 0 so this is the uh, final value that needs to be programmed in the motor register to have PA.0 to PA.13 as outputs and PA.14 and PA.15 as inputs pull up and pull down registers in, a, in our case we have used PA.14 and PA.15 so these two have to be pulled up uh, here we have 15 and here we have 14 so simply first we have to make them as 0000, 0, 0, 0 and then for pulling it up we have to make them 0101 0, 1. so while resetting you will be simply writing like GPIO A arrow PUPDR for resetting you will use AND assign with negation logic 0x f uh, all zeros and then for setting gpio a arrow pupdr and assigned with sorry or assigned with directly you need the value 0x5 all zeros so as mentioned in the previous explanation it is resetting first and then setting next for more details uh, regarding uh, why should we configure the PUPDR or what are the default values refer to the video that is popping up now uh, you will be getting a video here something uh, a link or to the video you can go there in that video I have clearly explained what is pull up or pull down why it is necessary and how it will be uh, affecting the input once pull up and pull down is done you will be assuming the count be 0 reading data from IDR here if you observe in the previous cases in all the previous cases we are reading only value from one pin but now we have two pins which is 14 and 15 which are these two pins so you have to read from those two if you keep 11 in them this will lead to 1100 which is C or uh, if I am not wrong uh, yeah it is C so you can directly uh, do GPIO uh, arrow GPIO A arrow IDR and 0x uh, uh, 00 0 C triple zero or you can also do <coughs> uh, this will give you the value of two bits that is either it is 0 1 or 10 one uh, based on that you can also decide like uh, you can directly write a if statement if the you can assign it with int or something like uh, uh, int 8 underscore t u int better so uh, if it is 1 you do this if it else if it is 2 you do something else you can write if statements or you can read them individually like 1 I have done here so if you see I am reading the uh, for, uh, 15th pin first which will be leading to 1000 which is 8 and then 14th pin which is 1 all zeros which is 4 so this will lead to the status of two particular pins through IDR and the next part is configuring the ODR as we mentioned in the previous video in which I have mentioned how to initiate uh, how to take this array and what is the purpose of this array uh, here what we will do is first based on which pin is pressed we will be changing the count value whether we will be incrementing it or we will be decrementing it 
वंस वी आर डन विथ इट वी हैव टू कॉन्फिगर द ओडीआर इन सच ए वे दैट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम जीरो पी ए डॉट सॉरी पी ए डॉट पी ए डॉट जीरो टू पी ए डॉट थर्टीन आर गिवेन टू सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले पी ए डॉट सिक्स इज द लास्ट पिन पी ए डॉट सेवन इज द स्टार्टिंग पिन ऑफ द सेकेंड सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले सेकेंड एंड दिस इज फॉर फर्स्ट सो हियर यू नीड टू डिस्प्ले द टेंथ डिजिट सो वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट समथिंग लाइक एन यू एम ऑफ काउंट बाई टेन मॉड्यूलर डिविजन टेन यू हैव टू लेफ्ट शिफ्ट दिस बाई सेवन because this uh, this thing must pass all the seven digits and the place uh, of the seven digits will be replaced by something called num of count modulo division 10 so this is like for example if your answer is like 22 you need to display 2 and 2 right so for that what i am doing is first i am taking count modulo division count by 10 modulo division 2 Which will give me two answer. So if you take, uh, wait, let me clearly explain. So hmm. yeah. So if you take uh, count uh, as twenty two, and you need two and two to be dif- uh, uh, displayed separately. From the logic we have. a uh, 2 is given as 0x06 if you observe so uh, if you write num of count by 10 modulo division 10 left shift 7 what actually happens is 0x06 will contribute to 0110 so when you left shift this by 7 the resultant will be Zero double one zero one two three four five six seven. So this will be the output. Uh, here you will be having some additional zeros like one two three four five six seven eight. So in the next thing, what happens is you are again uh, performing a bitwise or this with zero x zero six again. Which is uh, zero double one zero. So if you are doing bit by bit with this zero double one zero will come here. So this whole thing will constitute to the ODR value, which will be leading to the display of twenty two. Like it, uh, if I am not wrong, you will get something like this. So to display this, you are doing this. and then this is the final code here uh, if you see the first the header is included and then the array is declared please don't forget that you are always writing the code in c in embedded c so dynamic variable instantiation is only supported in c++ not in c so you have to declare all your variables in the starting of the function itself and the next part is we are enabling clock and then mode or reset and then uh, uh, G- uh, sorry gpu reset and then gpu configure and after that uh, we have pupdr and then we have pupdr uh, configuration and then starts our while one wherein we are monitoring the idr until the button is pressed we are hanging it uh, if 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 the button is corresponding to increment we are incrementing the count and we are modulo div- dividing by 100 in order to ensure that uh, count is not re- uh, going greater than 100 Uh, so that our handling becomes easy after that what we are doing is we are just uh, using the logic of uh, uh displaying two digits on two different seven segments by shifting the bits by seven to left shift and then oring with the units place digit and then comes the decrement logic where in which uh, uh, we have uh, monitor the idr value of the decrementing switch and then if the idr value has changed we are waiting till the button is released 
and after that we are checking if the count value is zero because if it is zero and someone is pressing a zero uh, decrement switch it is not possible for us to go back uh, counting like negative counting so if it is zero we are making keeping the zero as this or else we will dec decrement the count by minus one and then we are ensuring that count modulo division 100 works because uh, as as mentioned earlier in order for us to easily handle it and then the same logic for displaying the uh, number on the ODR. So now let us go to the keel. Here, if you observe, uh, this is uh, the code in the keel that I have discussed in our PPT. And uh, so, once you are done with coding, you have to compile it, build it, and also while building it, you have to go to the configure flash tools. And in flash tools, the output section, the hex file creation must be enabled. If you see here, create hex file is ticked. And after, once the hex file is generated, you can move to the Proteus window and <coughs> connect the circuit as per your code. In my code, the first uh, I have connected the uh, units place digit to the first seven ports and tenth place digit to the next seven ports. So I have connected them accordingly and then button 1 button 0 also I have used. So if you see here, yeah, if you see here, I have used button 1 button 0 and LEDs all together. So after doing this, you have to double tap and load your hex file here. Once your hex file is loaded, you have to start simulation. Once the simulation starts, you can simply press any of the button. You can see that the numbers are changing and if you go on pressing you can see the tens place digit also is getting reflected this is for increment and for decrement also the similar thing it goes on decrementing until zero and once it is at zero it remains at zero because we are not dealing with negative numbers so this is all if there are any doubts or suggestions please let me know in the comment section and if you like this video and find this interesting and informative, please do like it, share it with your friends and please subscribe and support to my channel Tech Talks. Thank you.